If you're excited to get started in cryptocurrency, but you're a little bit confused when you hear about exchanges and staking and decentralized applications, then sit tight because this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily do 95% of everything you need to do as a cryptocurrency beginner through one easy to use interface known as the trust wallet. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me and let me be your guide in this video. <laughs> So first off, I want to say that this will be my first video with Altcoin Buzz. So I wanted to introduce myself really briefly and say that my name is Robert. I have been involved with cryptocurrency for probably about the past two years, and I'm excited to be joining Altcoin Buzz and helping give some tutorials so that I can show you how to understand and use some of the hottest cryptocurrency products. So with that being said, let's get started with the topic of today's video, which is the Trust Wallet. Now, Trust Wallet is great for beginners because it simplifies so much of what you need to do. When I first started in cryptocurrency, I downloaded probably 15 different wallets because every time a new cryptocurrency I wanted to try it out, I would download a different wallet. But with Trust Wallet, it supports 160,000 different assets and 40 different blockchains. So one of the key benefits of using Trust Wallet for you as a beginner is that if someone wants to send you a cryptocurrency, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tezos, Algorand, you can be assured that your wallet is going to be able to accept it. You only have to remember one seed phrase. It's a lot more convenient than having 10 to 15 different wallets. On top of that, there's some kind of additional features that the wallet has. So if you've heard of staking, staking is basically a way to earn interest in your cryptocurrency. And to do that can be sometimes a complicated process where you have to go to a website and stake it. But with Trust Wallet, any funds that you have in your wallet that are eligible for staking are automatically staked for you without you having to think about it. On top of that, you can trade cryptocurrencies directly from within the app, and you can connect to decentralized applications all within the app. So if that sounds interesting, stick with me because the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to download and install step by step everything with the Trust Wallet. All right, so in this part of the video, we're actually going to jump in and download, install, and use the Trust Wallet. So I'm using an Android device. I'm just going to go to my Play Store, search for Trust Wallet, go ahead and download it. I've already installed installed it to save some time, so I'm going to click open. Now, when you create your wallet for the first time, it's going to give you the option of entering a seed phrase or creating a new wallet. Obviously, if you're a beginner, you're going to click create new wallet, and it's going to say that it's going to give you 12 words as a seed phrase. Now, these are very, very, very important because if something happens to your phone, if you lose it, if it gets destroyed, that is the only way to get your wallet back. When you're dealing with cryptocurrency, you can't call a bank and ask for a refund or something like that. If you lose that seed phrase and your phone gets destroyed, you're really just out of luck. So make sure you write it down, pencil and paper, pen and paper, um, and put it somewhere very secure. So with that being said, we're going to hit continue. It's going to give you 12 words so write them down and then when you click continue again it's going to ask you to tap on the words so that it knows that you did indeed write them down now um, for purposes of this video I already do have a wallet so I'm simply going to click I already have a wallet and I'm going to restore it from my seed phrase okay so since I already had a seed phrase I simply imported that I restored my wallet and now I'm on the main page so I want to show you the most basic steps first and then we'll get into a little bit of the more advanced features so the very first thing you do when you get a cryptocurrency wallet you're probably going to want someone to be able to send you cryptocurrency and to do that all we have to do on the main screen is simply click receive we decide what asset we're wanting to receive so let's suppose that our friend wants to send us some Bitcoin cash we will click on that and it will give us a QR code. Now, if your friend has a cell phone, they simply scan this QR code into their address field and they can send you the money. But let's suppose that your friend doesn't have this kind of a wallet. Let's suppose instead that um, someone in a different country hired you to write an article for them. You would not be able to send them the QR code, but what you could do is you could click share and it will come up with a string of characters that you could email them. You could send it in a text message, however you wanted to get it to them, and then they could send you funds that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to email this to myself and just to demonstrate how this would work, I'm going to go ahead and send myself some Bitcoin cash so that you all can see that it actually will arrive in our wallet. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that public key. I'm going to copy it. And then right now when I'm on my computer, I'm pretending that I am your friend in a different country that is sending you money. So when I'm on the computer, this is just them sending you the money. So let's suppose that I want to send just a few cents worth of Bitcoin cash, 0.01. I'll send one cent worth of Bitcoin Cash to this wallet and I'm going to confirm the transaction and then what we'll see here in a little bit is that this will appear as a pending transaction in our wallet. So that is how you are going to receive funds. Now let's flip things around and say that you want to send funds. If you want to send funds, it's very simple. Again, you just click send and you select the token you want to send. We will be sending Bitcoin Cash we can either paste a string of characters into this address field, or if we want to, we can scan a QR code by tapping this little square icon. Obviously, that's the easiest, so that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to send some Bitcoin Cash to our friend here on his Badger wallet. And again, this is me just sending it between the same accounts. Now, here's one thing I really like, especially for beginners. If you're trying to pay someone $5 for a cup of coffee and you're a beginner, you might not know what the price of Bitcoin Cash is or Ethereum, but Trust Wallet automatically converts this for you. So as I start typing 0 0.01 Bitcoin Cash, it's going to tell me, oh, okay, that's $4.44. So it really helps protect you because it lets you know how much you're sending, not just in a cryptocurrency amount, but in a dollars amount as well. So let's send our friend about two cents just to show you how the transactions work. We will click continue and it's going to ask us to confirm the transaction and we will send it to our friends. So that's how you send, that's how you receive. And what you can see is that that pending transaction where our friend sent us money is already showing in our wallet. So that's the basics of how to send and receive. Pretty easy so far, right? Okay, now we're gonna move on and talk a little bit about the advanced features. So one thing that people like to do with cryptocurrency is something known as staking. And staking is basically a way to earn interest on your cryptocurrency for basically locking it into a vault. Now, with other programs, you basically have to go to a different website and log in and stake your crypto. But with Trust Wallet, all you have to do is send assets to your Trust Wallet and they're automatically stakeable. So if I click on this Finance tab, we will see that I have Algorand. Now, Algorand is one of the coins that are available to be staked through the Trust Wallet. So when I sent this to myself a couple days ago, I didn't have to do anything else. It automatically staked itself for me, which is great, again, especially for a beginner. A couple more features of the wallet that you might find interesting, they have their own decentralized exchange, so you can trade cryptocurrency directly within the wallet. They have decentralized applications, so if you want to go to Uniswap, if you want to use Compound Finance, you can do all of that directly through your wallet. And this is why that's important for beginners. A lot of times people will send fake addresses. So you'll get, if you just search the internet for Uniswap, there was a scam going where people would send you to a fake Uniswap that would take your money. But with this, they're sending you to links that have been put in the trust wallet by the development team. So it gives you a little bit more security. One last thing that I want to cover is you can buy cryptocurrency directly through the wallet. So it's really simple. You simply have to select the kind of cryptocurrency you want to buy. So let's suppose um, that we want to buy Bitcoin. We simply click Bitcoin, we click buy, and we are able to buy this through a third party provider that's directly connected with the wallet. So overall, there is a lot of useful features in this trust wallet. You can stake, you can receive cryptocurrency, you can do an exchange, and you can do it all from one easy to use secure location. So if you're a beginner, if you're just getting started and you want to simplify your crypto life by 95%, this trust wallet is something that could really be a benefit to you if you're willing to give it a try and check it out. So once again, it's an honor. I've been really happy to make this first video with Altcoin Buzz. Hopefully you all found the video useful that you might consider trust wallet and some of the advantages that it offers for you. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.